Sure, my name is Bill Cook. I'm the uh, founder and former CEO, recently former CEO of Summit Infrastructure Group or Summit IG, based out of Northern Virginia. And uh, I've been in the, in the infrastructure, uh, facilities-based telecom infrastructure business for about 30 years. That's right, I, I think there's a tremendous um, revolution that's going on in the industry today, uh, fueled by growth, uh, Internet of Things, 5G, cloud computing, and you know, infrastructure has always been a, a very precious resource, and right now there's just a proliferation of, of infrastructure that is, that is um, required to support uh, all of this growth and it feels like a, a revolution in that they're revolutionary new products. The, the sizes and the scale and the quantities and the mass of this infrastructure is almost overwhelming. No, great, great question. I, I, I think it's, it's sort of multifaceted, um, you know, on the, on the on the planning side of it, you know, with, with volume infrastructure as we're talking about, it makes a planner's job very difficult to determine, you know, how to deploy this. And without a good plan, it's really difficult to execute or you find out years down the road that it costs you, you know, two or three times as much as it did to put it in the ground to actually operate it. So I think that that's one aspect of it. Uh, another are the products, the products that we have, um, you know, with, with, this, with this explosion of growth, a lot of new products have come on the scene really fast, particularly in with, with fiber optic cable and the sizes and the quantities that these cables are capable of, of housing. But the apparatus that, that supports those, such as splice cases and handholds and things like that, are a tremendous challenge um, you know, for, for the scale and size and quantities of infrastructure being deployed today. And last, I, I think that there's a huge um, challenge with regard to in, in the regulatory space there's only so much real estate and right-of-way out there to deal with and in these mass quantities of infrastructure that are going to be required to support um, the telecommunications as we think of it of the future um, how to go about being smart and coming together both on the private and the public side to make these achievable Oh, the perspective has been outstanding to see the, 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 the different ideas that are coming from, from um, regulatory side to experience in, in operating it, uh, the, the, these companies and the infrastructure and um, you know, really where the industry is going. And you know, I want to be a part of, of you know, coming up with a solution. You're either you're part of the problem or you're part of the solution. I want to be part of the solution for, for uh, the future and think about how these, these telecommunication networks are, are deployed because I too am a consumer and my family is a consumer and my neighbors are a consumer and as a, as a, as a nation and as a global um, being, we, we, we're, we're consuming this and we've got to think about it really smart and how we go about deploying. I, I, I don't think so. I mean, a, a lot of what I am going to talk about isn't necessarily driven toward just 5G or just Internet of Things, really hyperscale. And hyperscale is, 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 is a definition that, you know, did not exist a few years ago, just like low latency. People didn't think about low latency 10 years ago and then five or six years uh, ago, low latency became sort of the buzzword, and now hyperscale is really the, the, the buzzword and a lot around uh, cloud computing and what, what I've been focused on for the past five or six years has been meeting that demand in the largest data center market in the world. And I think that a lot of the same practices that, that were, were employed in, in Northern Virginia as I uh, built this company are going to be challenges that, that the rest of the country and the rest of the world will likely face. So I, I want to, to share my experience with others so that, again, smarter decisions can be made.